Hey everyone, Britt and Chris Carmichael here bringing you your live Elevated Life membership where we teach you simple mindset shifts to create radical transformation in your life. And today's topic, we are calling all empaths. If you are sensitive or if you've been called an empath or if you don't even know what that is, today we're going to teach you the three golden rules for, in, uh, for sensitive or empath people. Yeah, the, the big deal about empaths, like Britt said, it's going to be people who are a little more sensitive to everything. So if you notice that when you get around people who, you know, even negative people, even positive people, if you Morning. automatically take on their energy, you're probably empathic. And if you don't know, think about this. Think about um, if you were to be in a, a calm, silent room, the empath impacted wise would be like hearing a hundred voices at the same time so it's a lot of energy they take on and it's a lot of energy that they have to deal with and somehow kind of distance or push themselves away from so that's what we're going to talk about today so what is an empath what does empath mean empath is the capacity to know and feel what others are experiencing you basically take on everyone else's emotion and i'd love to know any of you watching do you identify as an empath have you ever felt that or heard that or, or identified yourself that way. I know Chris and I are both empath and we can sense and feel what other people are going through. Even if they say, no, I'm fine. My whole body shuts down, starts feeling sad. And I can tell that they're just telling me they're fine when really their emotions, the energy that we pick up on as empaths is what we feel. Uh, Emmanuel says yes. Yeah. So today we're gonna share the three golden rules for empath people because the truth is empaths are such beautiful, loving, caring people, but that can cause you know our own detriment as you guys know my mom suffered a massive stroke in 2012 and I talk about this often because it was the catalyst for my change because my mom is also empath and very caring and sensitive and loving and when she had the stroke she was paralyzed and could no longer speak and once she finally regained consciousness regained speech and all of that I asked her the question mom why did you do this to yourself and she said because everybody needed something from me and that's when I realized I had to take my self-care seriously. And that's rule number one for being empath and just being human is to prioritize your self-care. Make your self-care number one so that you can then turn and go be that loving, sensitive soul to other people. Yeah, this was something that we noticed really big when early Hi, on, Heather. early on when Britt was in the salon a, a ton and what would happen is she would come home and we, she had a weird hours in the beginning. So she might work till like nine or 10 at night and she would come home and be so drained. And, and it wasn't just like a, Hey, I physically moved a lot. Hey, I did a lot of standing on my feet. It wasn't that kind of a drain. It was different. It was an emotional drain, you know, and that starts to affect other parts of your life. And it's because, you know, especially being in this, uh, an all woman salon and only having female clients, Again, it's a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, the, you know, the, an emotion. Your hairstylist is the person that you typically share everything with. They're really, you know, therapists, uh, undervalued therapists for the most part. And so, one thing that we started doing a lot was going on hour long walks as soon as she would get done with the salon. And those walks allowed that energy to kind of diffuse a little bit because if you store all that energy and then you go home and you're with your partner, you know, that can cause for a lot, lot of problems because you can misinterpret what they're saying because you're already in like one of those sensitive modes where you, again, you've taken on so much other energy that you displace that on your partner. So prioritize that self-care. Another thing that really helped me in in washing away the emotions that I pick out throughout the day, um, especially being in the hair salon, is after I take my walk, I come home and I immediately, immediately take a shower. And that is my self-care intention and routine and physical ritual that lets my body know, okay, you can let it go, you can relax. Yes, you were holding space for so many beautiful women and, and helping them to see who they really are and, and wade through their emotions and their mental fog, but at the end of the day, that's, yeah, it's part of my job and it's what I love to do and it's part of my purpose, but ultimately if it's killing you, causing you to have a stroke or anything of the like or any kind of disease, empaths typically have digestion problems because our solar plexus is where we 
process our emotions and if we take on too much and we let in everyone else's energy then we can have lower back problems and digestion issues so if you are experiencing that then tune into the energetic boundaries that you're setting and that's the second tip we want to share with you is to set real boundaries let no oprah says let no be a complete sentence yeah you know real boundaries are <laughs> something that Typically, you'll know they're real because it will normally piss the other person off. And they'll be like, wait, what? No, we're going to do it this way. And you have to stand firm. Being sensitive a lot of times means that you'll want to people please. That you're a doormat. And you'll definitely want to avoid that completely. You're going to have to get used to accepting that other people are not going to like your boundaries. But make that firm. Make that firm boundary. That way you're not letting yourself be intruded. Because every time you do that, it kind of chips away at your armor and chips away and chips away. And eventually what happens is you're so vulnerable and you take in everybody's stuff and then you don't know what to do for yourself and now you can't help anybody else. You can't use the gift that you're, you know, empathic stuff is a, is a gift that you're naturally born with. Like loving people and being sensitive and caring about other people, that's a gift. It's not something to shy away from. Compassion and is the most important quality of the human spirit and empaths are straight up compassion. But you have to learn how to set these boundaries so that you don't just diffuse your energy everywhere because you are vulnerable to energy vampires. You energy vampires or energy suckers how many of you like comment below say I know one or yes or whatever hit some buttons let me know do you have an energy vampire in your life do you have someone a friend that maybe calls you for only dumping their stuff on you and they try to take all of your energy and oh well I feel better when I talk to you that's called sucking someone else's energy because they're not taking responsibility for creating their own so it's important to set boundaries around those people and the way that I do that is if I am ever in conversation with you and I have to say, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom, I'm so sorry, you might want to tune into your energy and the story that you're telling or what you're telling me because I typically excuse myself from conversations that are draining and depleting me. And you know that because you can feel it as a sensitive and an empath you know immediately, oh God, they're draining me. And so many of you stand there and fucking take it. And this is your time to know that you, sensitive is the new strong. So when you find your energy is being depleted by another person, get the fuck out. Walk away. Set your boundaries firm and know that you're doing that out of love. Yeah, ha having these boundaries is going to be massively, massively Currently important. divorcing mine. Fuck yes. <laughs> it's so true. You know, sometimes when you're in... Congratulations. When you're in one of those situations, a lot of times the best thing to do is just remove yourself and don't wait for the other person. Don't wait for their approval to remove yourself. Don't do anything like that. It's all about one of those things we say, hey, look, this is not working for me. I need to go do something else. And then just leave. Don't wait. Don't stay there. Don't let them move you around. And, you know, and they're, you know, a lot of times with empaths and stuff like that and sensitive people you're going to attract a lot of narcissists because it's the exact opposite of you empaths is going to be i care about everybody narcissists is, i only care about myself and we attract those people so much and it's very difficult to let them go because we care so much and so this comes into that third part and that is that you cannot save everybody so and, save yourself <laughs> and do not ever get into a relationship where you think oh man I've got to save this person and if I save this person then they'll give me the love that I need this goes back to prioritizing your own self-care love yourself first and then don't need it from anybody else when they give it to you that's absolutely excellent but if they don't that's fine too know that you're the only one that can fill your cup up there's nobody else that can do it so fill your cup up and the narcissistic behavior you have to put an end to you have to do something that separates you from that otherwise you'll stay in one of those relationships or friendships for a really long time and they will literally just suck the life out of you and you'll feel it you'll know it when it happens you don't have to be like well is this a good situation for me to get in this is about trusting your intuition trusting those gut feelings that you have and knowing I can't save everybody I can't even save the people that I love you can't save your family members you can't save your spouse you can't save your partner they have to do it themselves you can love them and as an empath your whole deal is to love them more just continuously pour out love it doesn't mean always time it doesn't always mean energy it just means loving them and it doesn't always mean staying in the relationship because that's not always the loving thing to do sometimes stepping away from these narcissistic relationships well actually you'll be the teacher and you'll be the wise one and you'll be the strong and powerful one that walks away I've coached so many women that have left a narcissist partner and it has 
destroyed their soul and their spirit and what they think of themselves, their self self-worth, because narcissists play that game of, well, no one will love you if you leave me. And that's just not true. And if you're with a partner that demeans you or demoralizes you or devalues you, then take a moment to breathe in deep. <sighs> just everyone, take a breath. Know that you are so much more valuable than being treated like a doormat, especially if you're a sensitive soul who who wants to love and wants to nurture. If you're empathic, you're probably um, not okay with large crowds and lots of noises and lights. And so one of the tools that I wanna leave you with today is <laughs> zipping yourself up in a beautiful energetic bubble so that you can set that barrier between you and the rest of the world. Because it's not rude and it's not that you're unloving, it's actually that you're so loving and so caring that you're willing to go out into the, into the world but taken care of, protected, and ready to be of service when needed but not allowing these energy vampires to drain you all the time. So one of the tricks that I do when I walk out my front door, I imagine myself in a white glowing golden bubble, or you can even pretend you're zipping yourself up from your feet to your head and back down. And that helps to set that energetic boundary and, and protection so that you know the second your energy levels start to shift, maybe you come in contact with someone and, they're, and they are bringing negativity, you can automatically feel it but not take it on as your own. Yeah, you know, so these three tips are definitely the ones you're gonna be wanting to look at. Remember, prioritize your own self-care. Make sure that you take care of yourself first. That way you can give all of your empathic gifts to everybody else. The second one, set real boundaries and stick to them. It's okay for people to be upset with you. Just know that you're distancing yourself from that. They will eventually respect your boundaries. Sometimes it takes a lot of time for that to happen, but it will happen. They'll either respect it or bye. You know, it's one of those kind of things. And you have to do it as an empath. And that last part is that you cannot save everybody. Don't try it. A lot of people don't want to be saved. A lot of people will pretend to suck away your time, but they don't really want it. And then two it. weeks later, they come back with the same problem, but maybe it's worse. And then three weeks later or four months later, they come back with the same problem. And here's the, here's the big thing. Here's the big mistake that we end up doing, and I, I see this happen a lot. Um, and that is you, mm. you cannot, whatever results people get from you is not always a reflection of you. So again, some people have secondary gain. Some people, they just want to stay that way because they've been that way for so long. They don't really want the change. They want to see the possibility of change but not really do it. So some people that you'll work with or be around won't change at all. And you'll feel like, oh my gosh, it's me. I can't help them. I thought I could help people. And you let them go. Just let them go. There are people that do want your help. There are people that do want your love. Find those people because oh, they'll find li you. <laughs> life will be so rewarding when that happens because you're, you're aligning yourself with the people that absolutely need you instead of the people who want to use you. And that Woo. little that little switch right there is going to make a huge difference. It's just how you feel in normal everyday life. You know, your head will be up high at first. It's like, well, you didn't help me. and You didn't do this. And you weren't there when I needed you and all that kind of Why stuff. Why don't you help you? Get, get rid of them. Just, <laughs> yeah. just you can let you them go. You just have to walk away. And that's that's like love. A, that's that's really love. Is you have to walk away sometimes from those situations because they're not going to learn the lesson. They're going to continue to do that to you as long as you allow it. And once you set your boundary in place and you don't allow it anymore, they're going to continue to do it to other people. So be the loving guide and teach them the lesson by actually stopping that energetic threshold that they're holding over you or taking from you rather. Um, my best friend for over 15 years keeps repeating her struggles. She is a reminder of my own growth. Beautiful that you can see that perspective when you see people sharing the same story of struggle and not shifting to a more positive solution or a new future vision, then that does give you that perspective like, wow, I really have grown. So take a moment to celebrate yourself. I know so many empaths. I know every single one of you <laughs> have struggled or burnt out your energy or given too much or had an energy vampire. I know every single one of you have, has done that. But the truth is that we're here to tell you that you can reclaim your power by doing these three practices. Take care of yourself first. You guys know in the airplane they say put your oxygen mask on first, otherwise if you're dead you can't help anyone. And the truth is, is if you're an empath and you're allowing everyone to take your energy, you will end up dying, <laughs> literally. Um, just like my mom's story, I hope, inspires you. So don't burn your energy out trying to save everyone because you can't. You can give to yourself so that you can then give to others, but know when to set the boundary.
Yeah, and I... if you know an empath or a narcissist, because maybe they need to hear this message, tag them in the comments below because typically us empaths hang out with empaths because we get it and we can relate really easily. It's a paranormal phenomenon and it's not something to take lightly. So like I said, sensitive is the new strong. Embrace it, but have the emotional maturity to know to not let your energy and motion, your emotions, to consume you and take over you. Use them as guides so that you can understand what's happening in the moment. Yeah, the, the last thing we're gonna leave you with, and this is something that Britt is so, this, she's so good at this, and it's taken time, it's, you know, this is a skill set to develop. It's not always Ooh, easy. tell me. <laughs> it's not always easy the first time, but, but Britt really is fantastic at tough love. And sometimes being an... <laughs> Anyone who's had a one-on-one -on -one coaching or tarot reading with me, they know. <laughs> she, she will tell you this, this stuff you know, straight up. She'll set the boundaries immediately. And that tough love is really a lot of times what it does require for other people to grow and for you to be able to go along that journey with them is being honest, is telling them, hey, look. Cut Impasse the, are truth seekers. Cut, cut the crap. And, and being able to, to, to speak that truth <laughs> and being able to kind of call people on their bullshit um, is really going to help you so that you can be honest with people. A lot of times as empaths, you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Or, oh, they might think something different of me or they might not like me or we not might be friends anymore. Then you won't be friends anymore. That's totally fine. There are people that you can always say, Meh. and again, the people that you need in your life and the people that really want what you have to give will come find you. It's so easy. You'll start attracting them, but you won't do it until you set those boundaries. Oh, thank you guys for so, all the love. I'm so, I'm loving all the support and, and just, it's so beautiful to see. And I am so thankful for you guys joining us every Friday for the Elevated Life. I want to share a quick story. I had a friend tell me just this week that I hurt her feelings um, because of my tough love. I hurt her feelings a couple weeks or maybe a month ago because I told her that something about her business wasn't working and, you know, when was she gonna make a change and she felt like I crushed her spirit because she's an empath too she felt like I crushed her spirit and didn't believe in her dreams and didn't want to support her business well I saw her this week and she told me you know I want to be honest and tell you that you really hurt my feelings but I want you to keep doing that because you told me the truth and now I'm starting to see what you said is really the best move for me and keep doing it so empaths are afraid to hurt people's feelings but the truth is if you speak the truth from a place of love and compassion, then it really will serve them positively. And sometimes they don't always see that in the moment, but give them hindsight and they'll, they'll eventually, we're just ahead of the game, guys. <laughs> you just gotta let them catch up with you. So be tough and, and you do that with your boundaries by knowing when people are sucking your energy, you just gotta walk away. Yeah, you know, have a great Friday. It's the weekend, this is a beautiful time. Celebrate yourself, celebrate everybody around you. Come from that place of love, come from that place of tough love, and give it to them. Let them know. Say, hey, look, you're screwing around. Don't be doing that anymore. You know, you, you got to tell them the truth. Be as honest as possible, but honesty from love. Heather, I'm glad that resonated with you because I, I felt like I needed to share it just so I could show you guys an example of tough love. I mean, if you've met me, you know, just period, tough love. Um, my astrology day, my birthday is the day of the tough cookie, so I mean... <laughs> We just should have known. But I wanted to share that so that you know that you can be loving and firm. You, can, you know, you don't have to just be a doormat. So enjoy that, take that nugget of wisdom, and know that when you're in a situation with a negative Nancy, you can walk away. And that is the most loving thing you can do. Not taking it on and, oh, okay, we'll just dump it all on me. Now you have the problem. <laughs> so if you guys want some tough love, and some tools and resources to help you along your journey, whether it be spiritual, business, or health, then join us inside the Elevated Life Membership Club. We have done our first live training this week and we had so much fun. We had so many amazing members in there already making amazing shifts and breakthroughs. So many, so many people are motivated to start going after what they really want after just the first month's call. So I can't wait to see what happens um, throughout the rest of this year. Let's make 2018 your best freaking year. And if you want to join us for only $47 a month, then I invite you to join the Elevated Life Membership Club where Chris and I will join you every month live to teach you and dive even deeper into these topics that we cover here on the Elevated Life series. So check us out. Kim's in there. Kim, you're the one making huge, I mean, there are multiple people making huge transformations, but Kim, I'm calling you out. You're crushing it, babe. We're so freaking proud of you. And hey, you have pink hair now. I mean, Think about that. You have the courage to move forward, take that step you've been wanting to do it. You even have the pink hair color in your house. So it, 
just teaming up with Chris and I will help you to make that subtle shift to bring you what you really want. She says, hi, I am. <laughs> so join us, brittanycarmichael.com slash membership, and we will teach you every month live how to live the most elevated life so that you can thrive, step into your purpose, and live your passions, and just be happy. I mean, isn't that what we all want? <laughs> be happy. <laughs> So yes. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. I'll leave that link in the comments below. If you want to join us, you can still catch the replay of this month's training. The thing is, is once you sign up for the membership club, you have access to all of our training from all the previous trainings before. So join now. You can still catch January's training and then catch us live in February. Um, Reagan says, get it girl. And thank you so much for posting the link. If you guys want to join the membership club with all these girls, most of these girls here watching right now and boys are in the club. So be sure to get over there. If you want to <laughs> receive some tough love that will help you elevate your life. Boom. Thank Have you. Day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye.